Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you an awesome unboxing video by me for you. Today let me introduce you the King Bolin A100 Automative OBD2 Scanner. This is an all OBD2 Function Plus 9 OBD2 Protocol Scanner. The King Bolin JR100 OBD2 Scanner supports read and erase our failure codes. We can view the live data, freeze frame, retrieve IM readiness monitor status, eWeb test, onboard monitoring, O2 sensor test, and of course vehicle information. It meets nine OBD2 protocols like ISO 15765, Canvas, ISO 14230, then ISO 941, then J1850 and J1850 and 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 and. For example, you push this OBD2 scanner into your OBD2 socket on your car, switch on the ignition, and you have a connection with your car. And then you can start, for example, DTC lockup and voltage test. It looks up definitions of DTCs stored in the scan tool and shows the possible cases of the DTCs, the failure codes. Enter the battery detection. We understand the battery status and avoid the problem that the car cannot be ignited, for example. And touch full design. Equipped with an 128 to 64 pixel display with 1.8 inches TFT color display, the key design to help us can more convenient to operate. The handheld size makes us can take it everywhere. We just plug it and play. No need to charge because this power supply comes from our vehicle. With the screenshot function, we press up and down keys for 3 up to 5 seconds to take a screenshot, for example. It's possible. Of course, I'm, I'm in the standard way, use my smartphone to make a screenshot fast from an OBD2 scanner, because that is easier for me, but, but you can handle this on this device. And for OBD2 vehicles and a lifetime free update services, it works on the most OBD2 and eOBD compliant vehicles um, from 1996 and newer. The US cars, 2000 and newer European cars, and 2008 and newer Asian cars. It can be upgraded simply by connecting to a personal computer with a USB cable. If you need it, you can make it. The scanner meets a lot of protocols to enter into your vehicle. Then it's easy. The 1.8 inch TFT color screen clearly display diagnosis results as you can see. And we can do a battery voltage test. Of course, 12 volt cars only, no trucks. Plug and play, we connected the OBD2 interface to start the detection. A simple and effective tool designed for DIY enthusiasts, individual car owner, and the ports, etc. We have the latest version on it, so we do not need to upgrade it now, but maybe later. We have a screenshot function. It supports tag languages, including English, French, Russian, Spanish, German, Italian, Portuguese, Japanese, Chinese, and Polish. And it's easy. We have to connect it to our port and then we can start. The OBD2 connectors connects the scan tool to the vehicle data link. This is a wired connection. And the LCD displays visual our display information to be um, get some information and um, of course we can use the OK button to enter up and down to navigate between the menus and the red button is to go back one step. So you can see the navigation between the menus is really easy. The display comes with a backlit 128 to 64 pixel display with a TFT color screen. The operation temperature is from 0 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. These are 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we have an external power, um, 8 
voltage to 18 volts power provided via vehicle battery so you can see you cannot handle this device on trucks because trucks comes with 24 voltage the lengths are 125 millimeter these are 4.9 inches wide is 65 millimeter 2.6 inches the height is 22 millimeters 0.9 inches and the weight is only 175 kilogram yeah that's only 0.38 pound that's not a lot so you can see you can handle it um mobile easily we choose a location under the driver's side dash for example or under the steering wheel and we use the um, usb port the the, the that's not the USB, it is an OBD port on your car. And the location has nearly at the driver's side area. Then we connect the device and turn on the ignition. And then we can um, start diagnostics. Of course, if we like a live data, we have to start the engine for live data too. And then we can navigate between the menus. We have the main menu. Here comes the agnostic menu, for example. We can read codes and erase the codes. That means if we read a code, we have a code there, then we can fix the problem because we see what's damaged. And after we fix the problem, we can erase the code by using this device here. Of course, we can use live data. So you have live data of your engine, for example. Freeze frame, vehicle information, component test, then mode 6, O2 sensor test, and I am Redinus. We have DTC lookup, voltage test, so check your battery, options, language, uh, units, metric or imperial, data logging, explanation, self test of the device, and the about menu. Function is um, there that, that we can see what what version of um, of this device is attached and uh, installed so you can see it's really easy to make a good and clear test with this king bolin um, ya100 obd2 scanner thanks for watching please subscribe me and give me positive feedback and i hope to see you again on my channel Soon, soon.